So I gotta figure out how to charge that old 54 tractor six volt battery. I'm not gonna buy one if I can help it, because I'll never use it again, but I'm, I'm thinking about taking this RC LiPo battery charger, because it says lead acid two to 20 volts. And this thing's pretty adjustable. I just can't find the darn cord from the wall outlet. But looking at the specs, it's 12 volts in right here. So I'm going to try and take it apart so I can basically solder some 12 volt wire leads to the connection here on the board and then hook it up to you know 12 volt battery. And the output wires are going to be here, positive and negative, and I can regulate the voltage to 6 volts, 7 volts, and charge up that battery. Okay, so I took the screws out here. Next, I need to get this board taken off the back side. So take the screws out. Okay, in positive and in negative. That's the uh, receptacle. So I'm not going to use the receptacle. Solder on some leads here. Okay, so I've got the leads soldered on here. Got it soldered to the board. This is the input voltage here, the 12 volts from a battery basically I'm going to use. And it's going to convert it down to 6 volts to 8 volts to charge the 6 volt battery on that tractor. Okay, so I'm going to take these RC charger clips here, or connections, take some wire, and put alligator clips on the end of them, and it'll plug into the side of this, this uh, charger board, and basically be the output voltage, hopefully six to eight volts. This is made by Pro's Kit, I got it on Amazon. It's great for soldering, that's for sure. Holds the wire so you're not having a difficult time. This is another Amazon purchase. It's a soldering station 8582D. Can't remember who the actual manufacturer was, but I'm gonna get back to this connection I made here. I'm gonna use the hot air side. So it's a hot air gun rather than a lighter or something. To shrink this heat shrink. So I've tinned the end of this copper wire. It's going to be my output to the 6 volt battery. Here's the other end that I made. So what I need to do is get an alligator clip on here. So I've got these alligator clips. I'm going to Get it on here, like so, and then roll the edges over and solder. truth Let's see if this Frankenstein project works so I've got the soldered leads for the input coming out the side here going to a little 12 volt battery lead acid see a spark I promise I'm gonna add a fuse to it later it's just a quick test 
So it powers it up. And I was looking for a six volt battery like that old 1950s Ford tractor. And my daughter's got a lead acid six volt battery, actually two of them. They were in series, so I isolate them. And so now I'm just on the one lead acid battery. And it's at six volts. So let's see if I can charge it. So I've got it set to eight volts. And I can go up, select the current up to one amp, I believe. So we'll do one amp and hold down start. There we go. So this homemade six volt battery charger should charge that old 50s Ford tractor rust bucket thing because I don't have any six volt chargers and I'm not going to buy one for one vehicle I'll never need again.